Good morning, everyone. It's a Monday. We've been fishing uh, lately, a little bit. Caught a huge swordfish yesterday. That was exciting. We didn't get any of the trip before that, but that's swordfish. We don't get them every trip. I'm gonna take the cover of this boat today, and we got the survey and sea trial on it. This is the 34 Hydra Sport, and uh, we'll see how it tests out there and see if she finds a new home, a new owner here, guys. So here we go. Let's get that cover off. Sounds good. Sounds good. the way we like to hear it. Your name was Matt, right? Yes, sir. From Hope Sound? I am. Awesome. What's your business name? Knoll Marine Services. All right, you guys. If you want to get a survey done, that could be your guy right there. He's got the moisture meter on right there, right? Yep. That's what we're doing. I don't hear it going off, so that's good. Oh, by the door. Check this whole boat out, top to bottom today. See how she looks. Hey, you guys feel free to jump up there and do all that, so. They lost their boat in Hurricane Sally. It's time to get a new one. This could be an option. We're gonna find out. So, uh, just if you look around, you can see it for yourself. It's all obvious stuff. A little gel coat gouge is kind of all mm -hmm. over. Um, I still got to tap out the other side. I don't have anything noteworthy on the moisture meter. No red flags there. These, I'll open this up and see what all's going on with the door. Not unusual boats with topside doors. Scout, Jupiter, they all end up with cracks around these doors some sort so we'll open it and make sure there's nothing else going on there i'm fairly positive that's from the forks on the dry stack forks they line up all these scuff marks are from the forks do i anticipate a catastrophic structural failure because of that no um, so there's a few you come up under here there's some more maybe trailer rash or whatever from getting service there's chips here this is a gel cover pair you can see it right there the, the discoloration couple other gel coat repairs on the other side. This one might be from the mold. Is that discoloration? That probably isn't from the repair. We've got a gel coat repair right here. So it's, it's not necessarily a bad one when they buffed it. They burned through a little bit right there. But um, it's all fairly cosmetic in nature. Yeah. So I just wanted to point that out to you. You know, same thing these scuffs. I'm gonna tap out this side and okay. that's all I wanted to show you. I appreciate it. Alright, so you can hear Matt there. Some gel coat repairs. It's a used boat, you know, it's about nine years old and some scratches and whatnot. A little bit of work to be done, but that's always true on any boat. Next step, we're gonna pull off all the cowlings there, check the motors out, a little visual inspection. Making sure there's oil in them all. Then in a little while, we're gonna go in the water and we'll do the rest of the survey in the water there on the top side. And hopefully do a sea trial here and uh, see how everything turns out. And those motors were just put on a year ago, so there's only a couple hundred hours on them. That's probably the biggest draw about this boat is just you know, having reliable motors. Yamaha 300 is a great motor and just having them put on there. You can see they look like new too. You know, and the owner was selling this boat because he got a new boat. He got a 42 Freeman, which came a little sooner than it was supposed to. And he had repowered this one in January last year. And that was the reason why he planned on keeping it for a few more years. But uh, 
I knew about Campbell quicker than I expected, so. Sweet goes in every hatch here, every hole on the boat, and they're, uh, look at the hoses back there, a little dry rot on them. Boats, you know, pushing 10 years old, not quite. A lot of times you get 15, 20 years out of them. We couldn't figure out the windlass, but Ryan could, and there's a little breaker in there and saw the console to hit the switch on. The more time you spend on these boats, you know, you learn all the little things where all the little buttons are and all the fuses and all that, so. so. If you have a hydro sport and you got a windlass on it and it ain't working, check your breaker right there, because that could be it. So there's a few hoses they're going to change out in the back there if they get the boat. Um, there's one bad battery. That's my favorite boat there, a Freeman, a 42. Maybe one day I'll get one. Charters have been going good. Life is good. 2021's been good for the most part. We'll see you guys then. Alright. See you guys out there. I told them the next YouTube video we make, we're going fishing though. So we're going to do our sea trial now. Matt's been working on the survey. You see all these lights are on here now. One light's out right here. Little thing like that. You see that there? A few little things so far. Nothing too major, doesn't seem like. Let's see how she runs though. Condition over there is definitely different than ours. I think you guys got like a tighter wave period a lot of times, it's right? Chop, chop, yeah. But yeah, we get you... like that swell thing with the east wind, you know. And... Check out the trolling speed now. We got a 54 miles an hour on the pins. Going through everything else. Better or worse, usually it's not falling apart structurally. So it's a lot of a lot of cosmetic kind of maintenance.
buying newer engines. What looks to be a decent haul. Okay. I mean, what do you recommend? Well, my issue is going to be the biggest issue is this. If this doesn't fold, I can't get this folded down. I can't get it back to its color. It's it's a mute point. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure it now, comes off for it, transport. It looks like to me it's got hinges. All righty, so tower's a little tricky folding it, so he's debating whether or not you know to get the boat because you can't trailer it that way. But you could run it up the coast there, so we'll see. So we're back at the marina here. They're thinking about the boat there. We just did the survey earlier. The guys were super nice, you know, putting the boat in and out of the water. So. Got a little bit of that pumpkin swordfish when I give that to him. As a thank you, there's a couple of nuts and uh, a couple of bolts stuck in the tower there that hold the tower. Got some blaster there. Gonna hit it with some PB and let it soak there. A little penetrating catalyst. See if it'll help uh, loose up those bolts there. We'll get that tower to fold down here in a few minutes. You yeah. eat that, right? Oh, yeah. All right, you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna spray some of this on a couple of bolts on there and then I'm gonna leave, okay? Sounds great. Thank man. you, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks again. Yep, no problem. Enjoy. Alrighty, just for those who wonder what happens to a big fish when we catch it, stuff like that. And you know, those big fish are few and far between, so there's not usually that much to go around, but we've had three big fish the last few weeks, so there's been a little extra. But let's go hit it with this right here and see if this helps uh, break some of those nuts and bolts loose there on the tower here. Because this tower folds and he wants to trailer the boat if he goes ahead and buys it. So we just gotta make sure we can get these bolts out of there just so it'll fold down for us. We'll just let this soak on there. We'll get that up in there. Oh boy. There we go. So we're just gonna get all those and this will help uh, loosen it all up hopefully and get it to fold down here. So we hit that with some PB. We're gonna let it soak in there. And you'll be amazed what that stuff does. You got a bolt that's stuck. You got a good chance of getting it out when you hit it with that and let it soak. What's going on everyone? We just finished the deal on that 34 Hydra Sport and uh, they just picked it up. So Tom was the original owner there. He helped break down the tower, get it ready for transport. So we really appreciate that. And I hope Brian, the new owner there, um, I hope he catches a lot of fish on it, has a lot of fun. So. I'm sure it'll be going to a good home and hopefully I have some more good fish stories on it. And that's all I got for you. So that was a deal there. I'm actually out of current, currently out of listings right now, but we got a big Viking coming up that we're going to list. And uh, we sold most of the listings I had. We lost one that didn't sell. And I think the main thing when you go to sell a boat is having the right price, you know, a realistic price. And we can look on the MLS and the database there and really see what similar boats are selling for. And a boat is only worth as much as someone's willing to pay for it. So always keep that in mind. And, uh, here we go, so let's go check out baby Claire. I'm with her all morning. She's asleep on the couch. Here we go. So hope you enjoyed that video. That was the sea trial and the survey and all that of that Hydrosport. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. We're signing off. We're getting ready to go change the oil on the boat and uh, get ready for some sail fishing. Here we go.